One of the main reasons I came to YouTube in the first place was to open up people's minds on how things work by pushing all sorts of stuff to its limit and filming it in a way that allows us to see things that we normally cannot see. So when I got the viewer request to mount the GoPro inside the tire and drive the car around, I was all in and it was absolutely perfect timing because I was just about to change the tires on my car. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna jump right into this and get it done. For this, I'm gonna be using a GoPro Hero 7, a USB cable, an external battery pack, and a light. These are all things that are gonna be essential to allow us to see what's going on inside that tire as I drive around Chicago. The only issue I'm running into as soon as I gathered all this stuff together is that this is all the stuff. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna mount all this in the tire. Yeah, let's go get the car. I got the car up in the air. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna get this camera inside of this tire because I don't know if these are considered low profiles or not, but the tire is only about two and a half inches tall. The GoPro with the case is about three and a quarters of an inch tall. Ah! Man, what's all that water in there? I think this is gonna work because of this reinforcing rib. I'm gonna try to mount the camera right about here in this direction because this is the right front wheel. So it's gonna be moving forward, which means whatever's happening is gonna be coming towards the camera. This actually came out pretty good. The GoPro mounted really nicely. And I have the battery right back here for the light. I'm gonna see if I can get the tire on this rim with this camera somehow. I have the GoPro all mounted inside the tire. I'm mounting the tire on the rim. And since this is the first time I've ever had a GoPro inside of a tire, I figured I might as well record mounting the tire from the inside because that's something I've never seen before either. Here it goes. See what this looks like. The next thing I'm gonna do is fill up the tire with 35 PSI. I'm gonna fill it up with air and I'm gonna roll the GoPro. And that's it, mount it to the car and get on the road. It's really cool. As I roll out, watch the screen, you could see the tire dent in and the stuff flying around. First thing I notice is those little like glitches. There's like a connection issue. And I'm pretty sure that's because it's mounted inside the tire, but if you watch it, it's really cool. All right, well, let me get on the road with this thing and uh, let's see what it does. This is the front tire. Maybe I'll do another one where I put it in the back tire. And one thing to remember is the perspective is just a locked perspective because the GoPro isn't moving in relation to the rim. I'm gonna drive through the alley now and see how this looks. All right, so that looked pretty cool, just driving through the alley fairly slow. I mean, you can see the tire kind of conforming to all the imperfections in the road, and there's a lot of cracks in this alley. Now I'm on a nice smooth street. I'm just gonna drive up this smooth street and just see what it looks like inside the tire on a smooth street with almost no bumps.
One thing I want to do before hitting the turns is I want to back up because I saw the tire do something really cool when I backed up earlier. That was actually really cool. The tire was kind of like dancing. I don't know if that, I don't know if it has maybe some uh, toe in or toe out as the car is backing up, but something's going on where the tires are kind of sliding on the pavement and these tires are shot anyway. So that's it for that one. Let's go and hit some turns and see how they look. And it's, it's probably gonna be the last take because once I hit some turns really hard, it might deform the tire enough that it hits the GoPro. So let's see what happens. Well, that went really well, a lot better than I expected. And although that seemed kind of anticlimactic in my book, I think that was a really cool look inside of the tire. That was definitely a different perspective. So thanks for that viewer request. And I was gonna do some crazy stuff, but I figured what's the point? I mean, it's just a GoPro. It's not like a high speed camera or anything. And even when I was driving on that smooth road doing like 10 or 15 miles per hour, that was getting a little bit too fast for the camera because it was just passing the camera too fast. Didn't catch any action. I didn't see too much value there. So moving on, I got some ideas from this episode. And the nice thing is the battery didn't explode. The GoPro handled the pressure. I put about 40 PSI in that tire the second time. So that was pretty impressive. So thanks again for the viewer request. I'm going to end this video right here. Tell me what you think in the comments below and if you have any other cool or crazy ideas, even if they're off the wall like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.